Right, so here's what we've done already. Try and do it in a nice straight line. Drive over the last furrow. Go over your last furrow, yeah. And then slowly bring yourself in line with the main main body of plow in there. Hanging on his wheels a bit. Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a very exciting day. As you have probably already seen from the title or thumbnail, we are going to hook on the plow. John is behind me in little boots. He's coming to pick up the power harrow. We have got a small area, and a very small area, I think it's less than a hectare of ground that is going into a spring wheat trial or experiment. Um, and as part of the um, procedure for that experiment, it needs to be ploughed and worked down before it's drilled. So the plough and power harrow over on the other farm, me and John are going to go and pick them up. Uh, we're then going to take the plough up to where said experiment is happening. Uh, stick the plow on the ground and turn it brown, I suppose. Now, I have done all of about five acres of plowing in my existence. Um, so this is going to be a bit of a learning curve. John's done a bit more than me, so he's going to come and help set it all up and get it all going and you know, supervise the mayhem, I suppose. Right, we're having to do the great machinery shuffle. John's got the rollers off in there. He's taken this home, which is the power harrow. Don't really want that bag. Or that bucket. Good bucket that though, good bucket, see? That is a bucket there. Best bucket on farm. A bit like amateur hour over here. John unwound his and I just spanned that round six times, so it did absolutely nothing. I get the staff. Look at that. He's on. Right. Right. Now, now he's got a plow to get on. Slack hole. Yeah. Up, down, left, right. Up. Oh. Hold it. There he goes. Right. 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 Oh. Years of experience. So see what happens if we lift up? Oh, lift off. See what we can destroy on our way home. Yeah, see when you when you pull out, you have to jump around that post. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a lot of shunting. Yeah, might have to do a lot of shunting. Yeah. You soon get to know where the back of the barrel is. Lodging that up one. Yeah. <laughs> you do your first run. You laugh from a distance. And then I'll get in with you, and then we'll see what it does. Okay. You're about to witness amateur ploughing. Doing is wrong, all right. 
seems to be turning it around the Highway Brown, so... What can you ask for? Probably some good advice to shut the window. Right, let's see if this will... Turn it over, you've got to push your ram back in to pull it back into transport mode, otherwise you're back throwing against the floor. Okay. So pull that one. Show your window. Turn, turn it over. over. This is all too much. I think John's getting back in. Come then, come on in. I'm gonna be in the in the furrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About a year somewhere. If you um, that's the wrong button. <laughs> what I'll do in right, a second is I'll set them up on the joystick. Put your ram over again. Yeah, he's right back. He's where he should be. Right. Okay. Right. right. The only thing to do now is plow. So you work out where you. Ah! Oh, look at that. Something like that. Lift him up a little bit. Any better? Yeah, that's fine. Doing plowing! Well, what I'm going to do is... So you want to set it up so that you can flick your switch and you'll push it back, flick your switch again and it'll turn it over. I'm going to put it on this one. Yeah. So, if I have that one set to... Uh, what's that in? Green is over, so if I edit that. Oh, green is number three. And if I have left to right as in and out, which is number two, I think. Turn that on. Yeah, so like that. Yep. I must have got that on the wrong one. Is that number one? When you flick him over, don't stop it because some if he if he goes to because what is turning him yeah is the momentum of him going so if oh, you I sort see. of stop halfway and that stuck. ram is just pushing down then see he'll sometimes do you know, on the side of a hill or something like that to do that and then like that and then you're ready to go again well, I where we did that that was beautiful that was see now look I come to here yeah that's it just flick and it'll lift up Turn the revs off. Well, you can do. Save yourself from just as you turn. You do we go through all your motions, and then you just keep driving around. Put that one out. Do that. Yeah. Put him back in. There you go. And you ride back on where you want to need to be. Have we even got gears on this joystick? It's beautiful. He goes in with a bit of a thud, doesn't he? Yeah. That. You know what you've done now? What's that? Oh, your ram. So you're, that's what happens when you uh, leave that ram out there. No one will ever know. Apart from the people that watch this. Right, so here's what we've done already. It was green and now it's brown. It's about as much as I know about plowing. John's picking up some marker posts that are out, you can see them here on the end. Here is the beast tractor with the plough on. As I said earlier, I've got all of about five acres under my belt for plowing, so... A bit of experience, if nothing else. That'll be a nice thumbnail. Yes! Right, John's down there waiting to laugh at me. So let's see what damage we can do here, shall we? If you're expecting to see match grade ploughing, then you've come to the wrong place. This is very much amateur ploughing. But it 
seems to be matching up, so that's the uh, important bit, I believe. I'm not going to win no prizes. But we will get the job done. We can't ask for much more than that. Can you, um, because when you lift out of the ends, you, your plow wants to go that way. So if you... I think he's ready. Have I turned him over? Yeah. Some air comes on right here. Wire him in up. Nice and steady wins a race. It's about the last swipe we want on there. Hmm. Want to tickle more? I don't know. Here we are, sports fans. So this is what I've done. Now, as I was saying, I'm not a match grade plower. This has probably doubled the amount of plowing I've ever done in my life. Um, but what we're going to do now is now I've gone in and out. As you can see, I'm bouncing over. Uh, I need to get level with those spray markers going down towards where John is down there. So what we'll do is we'll line up somewhere up here. The rest of this ground is going to be silage, so I don't want to uh, mess it about too much. I'll get in line here with John, and we'll give it a go. Guys, this is Josh's, so he tells me, one of his first attempts at ploughing. Done very well. It's a bit wet in places. I don't know. It's brown and upside down, which I think are the two main criteria for ploughing. You can see it's uh, hanging on his wheels a bit. Well, well, well. It's a lovely day, we should dry it all Go a nasty little bit down the corner there where all the ends are. There's a bit wet, it's all sloping horribly. Can't really tell on the camera, but it's not very nice. So you just got to go for it. If he's doing, I'll just ask it, Jeff. That'll be fine. A lot of concentration on his face. Oh. Yeah. He's matched that up nice. Granted, we did just hook it on and drop it in and drive, but. Nevertheless, matches up nice behind his tractor. Must be pleased. I spoke to a guy once who worked up in Cambridge or somewhere, and they had two quad tracks with, I don't know, 10 furrow ploughs ploughing, and it was his job to plough all the uh, headlands. Must have been a miserable job. Oh, Josh. Plow it in, plow it out. In. Plow it all in. Yeah, might as well. So go from that end again and go down. Yeah, because you probably pull it, easier, pull it easier that way, but you probably pull it going up because it's a little bit drier this end. Isn't it? Obviously, there's a break in this end, this bit. Yeah. Try and do it with two little bits. Yeah. Just play with it on the old toll. Yeah. But if you find your nearest gap, then if you will. And try yes. and form a straight line with that against yeah. the edge yes, of where you want to go and go with that. Yeah. All right. That's the right way around my back up there. You're learning. Yeah. So when he did the other end, where it was horrible and wet and sloping away a little bit, 
he had a bit of a game because the player just pulled him where he wanted to go. So hopefully, I suspect, he'll get on a little bit better here. As you can see, the first run is always the worst, nasty, horrible crap you drag up and I've known it a lot worse than that, that's pretty good. As you can see it's fairly wet, and this is probably the, the drier part of the field, but it's drying out nicely, so So he just gets started, he has to lift it out of the ground and start over again. How are you that Josh? I think so. Yeah, no, that's good. First attempt at the power. I will, however, get my GoPro off. What? Somewhere on the power of the GoPro. Got it? Is he still there? Yeah. Go on, unplug it. Go on, unplug it. Oh, it's brown, isn't it? Yeah, as I, as I just said. Brown and upside down. Yeah. Two main criteria. And you're going to smash it to bits with a power hour anyway. That's right, yeah. So, uh, so all your good plowing you won't see, but all your bad plowing you won't see either. How do people do this? So how are you supposed to plow a square corner? I think what you're meant to do is say you're going to plow you have to get out and four like... swipes on the end. Yeah. When you've got four swipes left there, you do one that way, then one that way, that way, that way, that oh, way. Oh, you tie it all in nice. And you tie it all in, so you'd have all your joins coming in a, yeah, I see. a nice diagonal across here. So therefore, all that would be hidden in like here. A photo frame. Yeah. It's what I used to do when I was plowing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. In the bay as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Looks nice with a plow on the back, doesn't it? Thing, yeah. of, thing of beauty. Yeah, we'll pop that up again for... Until the next trial plot. You have a taste for it then, John? I got milk ache. Neck ache and sweaty bollocks. Yeah. Feel the worst thing. Yeah. Right, cup of tea. I think so. Yeah, it's like So what do we think to that then people? First time doing any bit of ploughing, really. I have done a tiny little bit before, but I wouldn't have a clue what I'm doing. Um just part up there for tonight. Take the dome inside. Unfortunately, we've had two of our domes stolen, along with a lot of our neighbours have had theirs nicked as well recently, so they go under lock and key now, um, which they should be anyway. Why people feel the need to have to steal things is beyond me. So yeah, that is going to be power harrowed, what we've ploughed up by John at some point, and then drilled um, into various, I think there's some spring wheat and spring oat plots going in. Um, but when that happens, I'm not quite sure. They just wanted it ploughing. I sprayed it off a few days ago and it obviously died off. And uh, um, we've got the weather now to plough it. So we got on and did it. John's obviously very helpful when showing me what to do. Because to be honest, I wouldn't have had a clue what to do with the ploughing if I got it by myself. Yeah, hope you enjoyed seeing that. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments. I'm sure we can uh, have another go at some point. If you want any of my other social media platforms, there's links in the description. Make sure to go and check out those. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on another video very soon. Cheerio.